I mentioned in the previous video that we can change our permalink to include the category of our posts. Now again, that's totally up to you. It depends on the kind of site you're building. If you're building, say, a news site for Wordville, well, then you might want to have the word news here before the actual post name. Setting up categories is really simple. Head over to Posts and Categories, and you'll see we have an uncategorized category. Adding a new one is really easy. Just give it a name, say News. The slug is what appears in the URL. So again, this is usually lowercase and contains letters, numbers, and hyphens. I like to keep it as simple as possible. That way, my URLs are really friendly. There's no parent category in this particular case. I can add a description. This is the news category and click add. Simple as that. I can create a nested structure as well. So for instance, let's say we had some attractions in Wordville. We might have a main category called attractions. We might have a subcategory called children's attractions. So I'm going to call it children. So now it would be wordville.com slash attractions slash children slash the title of the post. The parent category then is attractions. And I'm going to add a new category. And you'll see that it is now indented and under attractions. And so now this is a child category of the main category or the parent category called attractions. You can build out an entire structure like this, adding as many categories as you want. If you delete a category, it doesn't delete the posts in the category. Any posts that might be assigned to that category would then go to the uncategorized category. One of the things I like to do is change uncategorized to, say, general, just in case I actually have some, say, general category type posts. And so now that's general. And you'll note that even though I've updated that category, WordPress knows that, so anything that's removed would be automatically assigned to the general category. So adding categories is simple. Let's talk about changing our posts. Well, it's actually simple as well. I can do it through bulk actions if I have more than one. Let's just do that since that's what we have. I'm going to edit and apply, and I'm going to change all of these posts to the news category and click update. Now you'll notice I've got it in general and news. That's not really what I wanted. So I'm going to click edit, come down to categories, and uncheck general. It's as simple as that. So adding categories, managing categories, adding posts to categories, all really simple with WordPress.